Hello and welcome students. Today we will discuss the topic principle of superposition. Actually in yesterday's lecture we have also studied the theories of principle of superposition. But then also let us see again. What is principle of superposition? Here it is written that principle of superposition means what? Sometimes a body is subjected to number of forces acting on its outer edges as well as at some other sections. So if a continuous body is there, then at the outer edges and in between the sections, there are some forces tensile or compressive acting on the body along the length of the body. In such a case, the forces are split up and their effects are considered on individual sections. So what we will do, we will split up the sections means one body is divided into two or three parts and the effects of forces will be considered at individual sections. The resulting deformation of the body is equal to the algebraic sum of the deformation of the individual sections. So what? We have to find delta L means resultant deformation which is equal to sum of deformations of different sections which we have divided into number of parts. Such a principle of finding out the resultant deformation is called as principle of superposition. The relation for the resulting deformation may be modified as delta L is equal to PL by A. You know this is the standard formula delta L is equal to PL by A. But when this PL upon A is applied to number of objects, suppose 1, 2 or 3 number of parts, then A, E remains constant. Why it remains constant means A means cross sectional area which, which is going to be constant because one continuous cross section bar is to be considered in the upcoming numericals and it is divided into number of parts. So 1 upon AE will be common out and in the bracket P1 L1 plus P2 L2 plus P3 L3 and so on where P1 is equal to force acting on section 1, L1 is equal to length of section 1 and P2 L2 is equal to corresponding values of section 2 and so on. So there are number of sections. Let us see some numericals so that you will be very clear about this. Say this, this is the example number 2.10 in which what is given to you a steel bar of cross section area 200 mm square. So you can see this is the steel bar continuous cross section of 200 mm square area. So this is the cross section area and is loaded as shown in the figure. Find the change in length of the bar. Take Young's modulus as 200 gigapascal. So modulus of elasticity is equal to 200 gigapascal, which means 200 into 10 raised to 3 newton per mm square. Now, what is the loads? What are the types of load acting on the object? You can see this is the bar of length A, B, C. Concentrate, huh? This is going to be very tough. Bar AB having length 300 mm, bar BC having length 500 mm. Now what you have to do? Just concentrate on the left edge at point A, at edge A, 50 kN tensile force is acting, 50 kN tensile force is acting, while at edge C, 30 kN tensile force towards right side is acting. So how you have to divide? See the same figure is drawn over here also. Okay. So how the loads are distributed? You can see this portion AB is separated over here AB and remaining total portion AC will be also drawn as it is. Just remember this method. Huh? AB is separated AB is separated and bar AC of the original length is also drawn. Now concentrate on the lower amount of load. Concentrate on the lower amount of load. So here at age C, the 30 kN load is acting. So you just draw at age C the 30 kN load as it is towards right side. But to balance this load, must remember to balance this load means sigma H should be 0. 30 kN here it is right side going 
then just replace 30 kilonewton on the opposite edge also. So on the opposite edge, 30 kilonewton will be left side. In short, for the bar AC, left side 30 kilonewton and right side 30 kilonewton, both the forces should be balanced. So now this portion AC AC is completed. Now what happens with AB? So you have to draw the missing or the remaining load at further edge A. Okay, so you just in the see in the lower figure at edge A you have drawn 30 km left side, but in the actual numerical, in the actual numerical 50 km is there at edge A. So we have applied only 30 km right now. So 20 km is still remaining. So at edge A you just draw 20 km. How you decide the direction? Because 50 kN in the main numerical is going to left. So here it is 30 kN is going to left and remaining 20 kN is also going to left. Okay. So at edge A, at both the edge A, total will be 30 plus 20, 50 kN going towards left. So now the data is matching and the figure is completed. Now balancing starts again for this edge ab you can see 20 kN is going left so you just throw 20 kN right also to balance the bar ab so now we can say that for this bar ab load is 20 kN length is 300 mm while for this bar ac load is 30 kN and the length should be total 800 mm total length 800 mm so this is the simplification of the figure the simplification of the figure is quite tough you have to practice at your own now we know that change in length of the bar delta L is equal to pl upon a so 1 upon a is common there are two parts which we have divided earlier so p1 l1 plus p2 l2 area is 200 Young's modulus is 200 into 10 raised to 3. Now what is P1 L1 and P2 L2? So this is P1 L1 and this is P2 L2. So answer will be 0.75 mm in your calculator. So total deformation of the bar A2C due to load 50 kN left side and 30 kN right side, the total deformation will be 0.75 mm. This 0.75 mm is a positive answer. It means that all the, at all the sections tensile forces are acting. Let us see some other numerical so you will be very clear regarding this. Let us start second numerical. Here you can see in this numerical we have given cross section area as 500 mm square and it is subjected to axial forces as shown in figure. Now you can see this is the constant cross section bar having 500 mm square area. Length is 500, 1000 mm, and 1200 mm at parts AB, BC, and CD respectively. Now you can see number of forces are acting there. But you just concentrate on the edges. Edges A, edges A, and edges D. Okay, so at edge A, the 100 kN force is acting towards left while at edge D you can see 30 kN force is acting but towards left this time not towards right. So here it is the combination of left and right forces. Furthermore at edge B inside the section at edge B 80 kN force is acting towards right while at edge C in between the section 50 kN force is acting towards right. Young's modulus is 80 gigapascal and we have to find total elongation. 80 gigapascal means 80 into 10 raised to 3, so 80 kN per mm square. Now you just see over here the same figure is drawn. Now here it is the object which is divided into three number of parts. You can see the first part is AB okay, and the last part is CD. So first and last part, you can see first and last part AB and CD is always separated like this. And middle part BC, but middle part is not actually separately BC, 
it is in the joint venture with AB also. So you have to draw second part as AC only. Also you can draw like BD also. BD. Okay. But AC is generally very easy. You can see the breakup of forces now. So which is the lower one? Here it is 100 kN which is the big value. Here it is 30 kN which is the small value. So always start with the smaller value. So 30 kN is acting at age D and left side. So you can draw 30 kN over here at age D and left side. Now balancing starts. So at CD 30 kN is left side at D. So on the opposite end 30 kN should be right side at point C. Okay, 30 kN should be at right side point C. So this 30, 30 left and right are balancing on portion CD. Now come to the second part AC. Now what is the force at point C in the main numerical? It is 50 kN towards right. So at point C, here it is 30 kN right side. So remaining 20 kN is also applied towards right side. So total will be 50 kN at point C. Now again balancing comes into picture for this object. So here it is at point C, 20 kN is going right. So at point A, 20 kN is going left. So this is the balancing of the portion AC. Now what is for AB? What is for AB? So for AB, you just remember the common age. What is the common age in these two figures? Common age is point A. So what is the force acting at point A? It is 100 kN main numerical. So in this case, you have already applied 20 kN left side. So just apply 80 kN also at left side. So that total will be 100 kN. Now again balancing comes into picture. So for part AB, 80 kN is given left. So 80 kN at point B should be given right. So this is the particular balancing of the objects. So now for AB, load is 80 kN, must concentrate. For AB, load is 80 kN and length is 500. For AC, load is 20 kN and total length is 1500. For CD, load is 30 kN and length is 1200 mm. So now finding the deformation, we know that delta L is equal to PL upon AE. 1 upon A is common and there are three parts. So P1 L1 plus P2 L2 plus P3 L3. Now these things are very easy. 1 upon 500 into 80, area 500 into 80. Now you must remember this thing that in this figure, first figure loads are tensile, second figure loads are tensile, but in the third figure loads are compressive. So in the third term, the sign will be minus over here. So first one is P1 L1. Second one is P2 L2 and third one is P3 L3. You can see in the previous figure also. Taking plus sign for tension and minus sign for compression. So total answer will be 0.85 mm. Okay. So this is basically the numerical number 2. Let us start with numerical number 3 also. You just practice this last numerical. This is the last numerical and then after in the next lecture, in the next week, we are changing the topics. You can see here it is 4.5 meter long road ABCD is given, which is divided into 2 meter, 1 meter and 1.5 meter. It is having 25 mm diameter. So now area we have to calculate like this area is equal to pi by 4 d square where d is equal to 25. So answer will be 491 mm square cross section area. If the value of Young's modulus for the steel is 200 gigapascal, so value of Young's modulus is 200 gigapascal means 200 kN per mm square, determine its deformation. Concentrate on the figure, the same figure of this numerical is drawn over here. Just divide it into equal parts. So which types of equal parts are divided? So you have to divide as per your conveniency. Okay. You have to divide as per your convenience. Lots of methods are available. Actually, you can divide as per your own. Now, this is the variety of case. You can see here part AD is as it is. Nothing change. So, 50 kN is acting at point D which is lower amount and it is going towards right. 
So to balance this 50 kilo newton, left side 50 kilo newton is also drawn. The second part is AC. At AC, you can see which type of forces are acting. So H A is one time completed in which 50 kilo newton is acting towards left. But in the actual numerical, you can see at age a 60 kN is there, so 10 kN is just missing. So just replace 10 kN at left side and to balance this 10, replace right side also 10 kN. So this is the load balancing of portion AC. While the remaining middle portion BC is drawn over here. Now the age C is again common. So at HC in the numerical you can see 20 kN is acting towards right. So at this point 10 kN is already drawn. So remaining 10 kN at, should be drawn at this age. And to balance this 10 kN again left side 10 kN force is drawn. So this is the particular load balancing of the object. Now you can see what is delta L. It is 1 upon AE P1 L1 plus P2 L2 plus P3 L3. So, by replacing the values of area Young's modulus, you will get P1 L1 plus P2 L2 plus P3 L3. So, this is going to be your answer, 2.70 mm. So, this is the elongation of the body. So, this type of numericals can be asked in your exam. So, this is the principle of superposition. We will start some another topic in the next week. This is very long chapter. For this week, total five lectures are completed. So you just revise this five lectures and get back to the study in the next week. Till then, goodbye students. Thank you.